So this is the last lesson in the transformation unit. It's called Sequences of Transformations. And this is gonna go really fast because it's, there's only three questions. <clears throat> so you have a shape here, figure A, and then it ends up as figure B. So we've done some things. Can you already tell that we've dilated it? You tell that here's the original and here's the final. So we know we've done a dilation. We've changed the size of it. Now we just have to figure out what is the way, what way do we use to get figure A to figure B? Well, first off, when you see the shape facing pointing up and then it's like this, chances are where it's pointing this way, chances are that's a rotation. And about nine times out of 10, it's a rotation. So let's take a look. Uh, to, it says that we translated figure A. Well, to translate figure A, we can only go up and down with that point facing up, or we can go sideways. This is not facing up, so it's not the first. I'm not even gonna read anymore. I'm just gonna move down to the next one. Uh, the next idea says that it's dilated with the scale factor of two. All right, yeah, that sounds great, because there's a dilation, and all of the dilations they use in this, they use it too. So that means that it's got to be a dilation of two, and then rotated that result clockwise 90 degrees about the origin. So that would mean that we're in figure A, and we dilate it, make it big, and then we turn it. It's gonna turn clockwise going this way, And so if we, if we turn it and it's going this way, then um, that's gonna be your answer. It's gonna be dilate figure A with a scale factor of two and then rotate that result clockwise 90%, 90, not percent, degrees about the origin. Okay, uh, the next one, and just to make sure, uh, I'm just gonna check the rest. Always check the rest because uh, you never know. So the, the next one, they said they translated it down. No, it has to be a rotation. And this one says they reflected it down. Nope. And also they said that that reflected across the y-axis. So nope, couldn't be further from it. And none of these. Well, it's going to, it's, it's one of them. It's the uh, dilate and then rotate. So we're going to click on that. Okay. And then the last thing is, are figure A and B similar? And it's gonna be yes. Every time that we can rotate it, dilate it, translate it, um, it's, it's gonna be similar, okay? All right, so next question. Here we go. You can tell there's another dilation that has happened. This is figure A and this is figure B. The final is smaller than the larger, so this is gonna be a fraction. We know the scale factor is going to be less than one. Also, you see where it's pointing up? If we were to rotate it to get to that quadrant, it would have to turn, and it's not. It's completely facing down, which look at that, look what I'm doing with my pencil. If it's facing down, that's a reflection. Over which axis? The x-axis. So I can look at it and start guessing what the answer is going to be before I look at the possible answers. All right, so they've used one half for the scale factor for all of it, and so it's going to be one half, all right? Um, the other possible way to think of that is pick one, one order pair, one, one, right there. And, oh, here, sorry, two, two. And that order pair changes when you flip it. That same point is now one one. Half of two is one, so that's it went down half uh, in terms of its order pair. Remember, we can um, multiply the order pair by the scale factor to get the new ordered pair. So now we do know that is one half. All right. So they're saying reflect over the x-axis and then dilate. So reflect over the x-axis from down to up, and then dilate with a scale factor of one half. And that I'm gonna say is the answer, but I'm just gonna check. This says reflect over the y-axis. Nope, that means going over there. Nope. And then the next one says rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees and then dilate. So rotating this 90 degrees uh, counterclockwise and it did say, or counterclockwise would be backwards, so it'd end up over here. Nope. If you go counterclockwise, you get further away. And or 
<clears throat> dilate it with one half, and then translate it uh, up six. Well, that means it would still be facing upside down, looking like the state of Nevada. So, nope, it's not that. So, we are going to say it was the first one. And, yes, it's similar. All right, last one. Okay. All right. Uh, we're just waiting for it. Oh, on the third question, too, don't you know? So the biggest thing to understand is you're going to take each um, shape and it's going to... Um, it's going to be it's going to be the transformations are going to happen twice. There's going to be a sequence. We're going to do two things to the shape. All right, so that's not giving me what I want, so I'm going to just re-enter. <clears throat> okay. Boy, I thought this was going to be really fast. It's it's still going to be faster than the others. Okay, so we're now on I'm going to go back to number 3. Okay, still a nice short video for a change. All right, here we go. So you can tell there's a dilation. Here's our original, figure A. B will be the final. So the original, we definitely have dilated it. Can you tell if it's here and it goes right there, then you can't translate it, we can't flip it. What do we have to do? Rotate it. So it's gonna be a rotate. Which direction does this go when you're going this way? It's called counterclockwise. So that's what I'm gonna look for. I'm gonna look for a dilation, and I'm looking again. The original order pair here is two, two, and it becomes one, one, so it's gonna be one half again, okay? So there's no translating, nope. Um, there's no clockwise rotation. That would mean I'd be going this way, so nope. Um, we're gonna dilate it and rotate counterclockwise 90, that's going to be the answer, but I'm going to go ahead and check the last one. Or dilate it and reflect it over the y-axis. So if we reflect that over the y-axis, there's no way. So it is the one where you are dilating with a scale factor of one-half and rotate that result counterclockwise 90 degrees about the origin. Okay, and then the last question, don't forget the part B. Click yes, they are similar because they are still similar. And that is the lesson on sequence of transformations.